Hello, my dear students. Welcome to Physics Wala. My name is Satish Kumar, and I'm your chemistry teacher. Today, we are going to continue atomic structure chapter, lecture number five. In this particular session, we are going to cover the following topics: that is, quantum numbers and electronic configuration. And we are also going to cover shapes of orbitals, nodes, nodal planes. How we can calculate nodes and nodal planes? All these things we are going to discuss in this particular session. So these topics which we are going to discuss in this session are very very important topics. E topics have I tell you now? I will J E mains kosam gani, NEET kosam gani, M C E exam kosam gani, board exams kosam gani. Chala chala important topics. In all these exams, questions from this particular topics will regularly come. Kabati, these questions are very very easy to solve also. Kabati, you should focus more on these topics. Okay, all of you people, take a pen and book and ready to note the points. So now we are going to start with the quantum numbers. So what do you mean by the quantum numbers? Quantum numbers are the four set of numbers which can describe the exact location of the electron in at atom. Atom lo electron yo exact location ni find out jaydan ki. We have four numbers, four set of numbers. That four set of numbers are called as what numbers? Quantum numbers. Okay. Like for example, me ro ka person on that at any location address nika tells call and could a first time just a mirror at the do parent the Taravata at the street name in the Taravata at the room day district name in the Taravata at the room day state name in it so this is how we will follow a person otherwise this is how we will locate the location of a person a person your location you want to identify yeah and take these steps we will follow like that if you want to locate the exact location of electron cover and a man I'm gonna okay step by step quantum numbers to follow it and they are the issue alone electron of a particular electron for shell loan the second shell loan the third shell for shell loan day yes sub shell loan the p sub shell loan the d sub shell loan p sub shell loan day P X orbital low on the P Y orbital low on the P Z orbital low P Z orbital low on the then spinning clockwise direction low on the anti-clockwise direction low on that and that the shell low on the yes of shell low on the and a orbital low on the then spin clockwise arc anti-clock all these informations of electron are given by the what quantum numbers quantum numbers are set of numbers which describe the exact location of electron in an atom exact location of electron in an atom so how many quantum numbers are there we have four quantum numbers one is principal quantum number principal quantum number which is denoted with letter n principal quantum number is denoted with letter n and second one is azimuthal quantum number azimuthal quantum number is denoted with what l and third one is magnetic quantum number magnetic quantum number magnetic quantum number is indicated with m r m l and the fourth one is spin quantum number spin quantum number which is represented with yes these three quantum numbers are derived from the Schrodinger wave equation these three quantum numbers are the solutions of Schrodinger wave equation and then later one more quantum number is introduced that is a spin quantum number spin quantum number describe the spinning of electron that we will discuss later first of all we will be starting with the very first one principal quantum number principal quantum number is described or discovered 
इट इज डिस्कवर्ड बाय डिस्कवर्ड बाय हुम इट इज डिस्कवर्ड बाय नील्स बोर एंड इज डिनोटेड बाय लेटर व्हाट एंड इज डिनोटेड बाय लेटर एन and values of n based on this values of principal quantum number only we can identify the location of electron principal quantum number value ni batti manamu dani location ni find out cheyagalugutu values of n values of n is equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and so on ante ఒక ఎలక్ట్రాన్ యొక్క ప్రిన్సిపల్ క్వాంటమ్ నెంబర్ వాల్యూ టూ అంటే మీనింగ్ ఏంది దట్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ ఇస్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ ది సెకండ్ షెల్ అని అర్థం దట్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ ఇస్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ ది సెకండ్ షెల్ ఇఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ క్వాంటమ్ నెంబర్ ఇస్ త్రీ దట్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ ఇస్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ ది థర్డ్ షెల్ అని అర్థం అండ్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో ఇండికేటెడ్ విత్ కే టూ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో ఇండికేటెడ్ విత్ ఎల్ త్రీ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో ఇండికేటెడ్ విత్ ఎం అండ్ ఫోర్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో ఇండికేటెడ్ విత్ ఎన్ సో ఆన్ లైక్ దిస్ so was first shell or k shell second shell or l shell third shell or m shell fourth shell or n shell okay and fourth point it gives information or describes about describes about the radius of orbit it describes about the radius of orbit it describes about the energy of orbit it describes about the velocity it describes about the velocity of electron it describes about the radius of orbit in which the electron is present it describes about the energy of orbit in which the electron is present it describes about the orbit uh, the electron velocity and uh, next one for example maximum number of maximum number of uh, subshells maximum number of subshells present in a given shell present in a given shell is equals to n it means if principal quantum number value n is equals to 1 number of subshells in one first shell is also one only that is what subshell s subshell m subshell untadam andlo s subshell untu next if n value is 2 number of subshells are also 2 what are they s comma p subshells first shell lo s subshell maatrame untundi second shell or second orbit shell shell is also called as orbit not orbital and if you have third subshell third sub shell lo number of uh, so, sorry third shell lo number of sub shells any 3 what are they s comma p comma d sub shells and if you have fourth sub shell uh, sorry fourth shell in fourth shell the number of sub shells are how many four only what are they s comma p comma d comma f sub shells okay and the next point of this one is maximum number of orbitals maximum number of orbitals maximum number of orbitals is equals to n square so if n value is 1 means first shell first shell lo maximum number of orbitals are what 1 square only 1 square means 1 so that is what sub shell s sub shell only s sub shell lo n orbitals untai okate orbital untai shell shell lo sub shell untadi sub shell lo orbitals untadi next if number of uh, uh, electron is present in the second shell second shell means maximum number of orbitals present in second shell is 2 square 2 square means how many orbitals four orbitals four orbitals ante em em second shell lo em orbitals untai em shell shells sub shells untai s sub shell and uh, p sub shell s sub shell lo number of orbitals one p sub shell lo number of orbitals 3 1 plus 3 is equals to 4 orbitals are present in the second sub shell sorry second shell and third shell f electron is present in the third shell then the number of orbitals present is 3 square 
means what nine orbitals you have third shell em untay amma s orbital p orbital d orbital untundi s p and d s orbital how many uh, uh, s sub shell how many orbitals are there one p sub shell how many orbitals are there three d sub shell how many orbitals are there five one plus three plus five is equals to what nine nine sub nine orbitals are there and uh, if n is equals to four number of orbitals are four square means what 16 orbitals 16 orbitals means what are they s p d f four sub shell lo four shell lo unde sub shell sent vi s p d f s sub shell lo any orbitals unta vi 1 p sub shell lo 3 d sub shell lo 5 and f sub shell lo 7 all together will become how many 60 okay and one more point is Seventh one, maximum number of electrons is equals to two into n square. Okay, maximum number of electrons two into n square. For example, n is equals to one. So two into one square is equals to two electrons. First shell of n electrons on top of two electrons are on top. And the kind of first shell of m on the okay s sub shell matter me on the. S sub shell can accommodate how many orbit, how many electrons? Two electrons only. And this second shell, so two n square, n is two, two square, two to the four, four to the eight, eight electrons. Because in second sub, second shell you have yes or yes sub shell and p sub shell. Yes sub shell can accommodate two electrons and p sub shell can accommodate six electrons. Two plus six, eight. If your n value is three, then two into three square, three square is nine. Nine into two is eighteen electrons. Eighteen electrons are present uh, to three means uh, third shell, third orbit. So number of electrons two into three square, eighteen electrons. So third shell means what are the sub shells? Yes, p, d. D sub shell can accommodate ten. This can accommodate six. And this can accommodate two, so all together is eighteen. And if your n value is four, n value four means two into four square, four square is sixteen. Sixteen into two, thirty-two. Thirty-two electrons. Fourth shell can accommodate maximum how many electrons? Thirty-two electrons. So that you will be having yes, p, d, f, f orbital can accommodate fourteen, d orbital can ten. P orbital six only, S orbital two, all together is thirty two, right? So this is about the mag. Uh, what is that principal quantum number? And one more point, uh, important point: the orbit angular momentum. The orbit angular momentum. Orbit angular momentum of. One minute. The orbit angular momentum of. Uh, A shell is equals to m v r is equals to m n h by two pi. Orbit angular momentum m v r is equals to n h by two pi. N is the shell in which the electron is present. N is the shell in which the electron is present. Okay. And next coming to the azimuthal quantum number. Next coming to what a azimuthal quantum number. Azimuthal quantum number. Azimuthal quantum number was discovered. Discovered by Sommerfeld. Azimuthal quantum number was discovered by Sommerfeld. Number two point here it is. It is denoted. Denoted by letter L. so principal quantum number describes about the shell or orbit or energy level and azimuthal quantum number describes about 
describes about uh, describe about uh, subshell or r sub orbit or r sub energy level sub energy level so azimuthal quantum number values will be l is equals to 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 0, zero represent the subshell s and 1 represent the subshell p 2 represent the subshell d and 4 3 represent the subshell f and 4 represent the subshell g like that and so on values of azimuthal quantum number 0 1 2 3 4 so on 0 represent s 1 represent p 2 represent d 3 represent f and 4 represent g and for a given n value for a given n value L values are equals to the 0 to n minus 1. For a given n value, L values are equals to 0 to n minus 1. It means if you have given n value for an electron is 1, what is its L value? L value is equals to 0 to n minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 to 0 is 0 only. L value is 0. L value 0 means what orbital that is? s orbital n value 1 means what is that is 1 s n value 1 means 1 l value 0 means s orbital l value 0 means what orbital it is s orbital l value 1 means p orbital l value 2 means d orbital l value 3 means f orbital right now if your n value is given to your l value will be equals to 0 to n minus 1 0 to 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 0 to 1 means 0 comma 1 0 comma 1. If your n value is 2, L value is 0, that is 2s. If your n value is 2, L value is 1 means what that is 2p. Second shell on the kind of 2s, 2p matra me shells untai, sub shells untai. And next if your n value is 3, L value is equals to 0 to 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 means 2. 0 to 2 ante 0, 1, 2. Right? 0 comma 1 comma 2. So n value 3 means L value 0 means 3s, n value 3, L value 1 means 3p, n value 3, L value 2 means 3d that is. In third shell S orbital, P orbital, D orbital, D subshells are present. S subshell, P subshell, D subshells are present, right? And next coming to the n is equals to 4 means what? L will be 0, 1, 2, 3. So that n is equals to 4, l is equals to 0 means 4s, l is equals to 1 means 4p, n is equals to 4, l is equals to 2 means 4d, n is equals to 4, l is equals to 3 means 4f orbital. That's why 4th shell consists of f subshell, p subshell, d subshell and f subshell, right? So this is about this thing and uh, Always L value is less than N value. L value is less than N value. Okay. And it describes about the shapes of subshells. Shape, shapes of subshells. So S orbital is having what shape? S orbital is having spherical shape. It means if you have one electron whose uh, azimuthal quantum number value is 0 means that is what shell? Subshell? S subshell. S subshell means what shape? Spherical shape. And P subshell. P subshell is what shape? Dumbbell shape. And D, S, P, D, D subshell is double dumbbell shape. Double dumbbell shape. And the last one is F subshell. F subshell is fourfold dumbbell shape. Fourfold dumbbell shape. And we can say. It is having a very complex structure and we don't have in your syllabus also. Okay. And uh, one more, a uh, few more important points of this one is maximum number of subshells 
maximum number of uh, not sub orbitals maximum number of orbitals maximum number of orbitals for a given l value so is equals to 2l plus 1 it means if your l value is equals to 0 number of orbitals maximum number of orbitals are what 2 into 0 plus 1 is equals to 1 only means l value 0 means what subshell that is s subshell s subshell is having how many orbitals one orbital only if your l value is 1 L value 1 means what subshell that is? P subshell. What subshell that is? P subshell means 2 into 1 plus 1. Total how many? 3. P subshell is having how many subshells? Orbitals. Px, Py, Pz. 3. If your L value is 2, what is that? D subshell. D subshell means number of orbitals. Total number of orbitals 2 into 2 plus 1. Total how many? 5. D subshell is having how many orbitals? 5 orbitals only, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If your L value is uh, how much? 3. What is that subshell belongs to? F. So that you will be having 2 into 3 plus 1. Total how many is 7? So L subshell, I mean like third subshell, that is F orbital, F subshell is having 7 orbitals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, and 7. And uh, maximum number of electrons, maximum number of electrons, if L value is given maximum number of electrons is equals to 2 into 2L plus 1, maximum number of orbitals are 2L plus 1, each orbital can accommodate how many electrons, 2 electrons, each orbital can accommodate 2 electrons, that's why 2 into 2L plus 1, 2 into 2L plus 1, okay, and uh, orbital angular momentum orbital angular momentum orbital angular momentum is equals to under root l into l plus 1 into h by 2 pi which can also be written as orbital angular momentum l into l plus 1 into h bar L into L plus 1 into H bar. L into L plus 1 into H bar. Here H bar is nothing but H by 2 pi. H is Planck's constant. Okay. L is the value of azimuthal quantum number. L is the value of azimuthal quantum number. Okay. So what is the orbital angular momentum of S orbital? S orbital L value is 0 under root 0 into 0 plus 1 into h bar root 1 is 1 only that is h by 2 pi h bar means h by 2 pi so this is about the azimuthal quantum number and next coming to the magnetic quantum number Magnetic quantum number was discovered by whom? It is discovered by Lande. Magnetic quantum number was discovered discovered by Lande. Magnetic quantum number was discovered by Lande and is denoted it is denoted by letter M L or M. It is denoted by M. It describes about the orientation, describes about uh, the orientation of orbital, orientation of orbital. See principal quantum number describes about uh, the shell or orbit or energy level in which the electron is present. Next. Uh, that is azimuthal quantum number describes about the subshell whether the electron is present in s subshell or p subshell or d subshell is uh, described by azimuthal quantum number and magnetic quantum number now describes about the orientation of the orbital 
if the electron is present in p sub shell whether it is present in px orbital or py orbital or pz orbital the electron is present in which uh, the electron is uh, oriented in which axis is explained by magnetic quantum magnetic quantum number electron a axis pain orient ayundi ane dan gurinchi explain chestundi so magnetic quantum number describes about the orientation of the orbital orientation of the orbital right magnetic quantum number describes about the orientation of the orbital and the next one is magnetic quantum number. for a given for a given value value of l m would be equals to minus l2 plus l m would be equals to minus l2 plus l it means if your l value is 0 means what sub shell that is s sub shell and your m will be minus 0 to plus 0 means 0 only it means how many orbitals are there here one value is there that's why orbitals in s is what how only one orbital only see if your l value is 1 m value will be what minus 1 0 plus 1 m value 1 means what orbital that is p orbital p orbital lo n is p sub shell lo n orbitals unta vi 3 px py and pz 0 ante pz indicate chestam manam px means minus 1 ps py means plus 1 you can also change px means plus 1 py means minus 1 you can write any of these values for px and py pz is 0 so l value 1 means m values n ochne 3 ochne endukante l value 1 ante meaning in the p orbital p orbital lo n orientations untai px py and pz three orientations untai kabatti three values ostai for example if somebody given n is equals to 3 l is equals to 1 and m is equals to 0 the electron is present in where means third shell L is equals to 1 means P, M is equals to 0, zero means zero means PZ. The electron is present in what orbit? What's what orbital? 3PZ orbital. 3P Z orbital. Like that. If your L value is 2, your M values will be what? Uh, minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2. Total how many values? 5 values why we got five values means uh, l value 2 means what sub shell there is d sub shell d sub shell consists of how many orbitals five orbitals 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 minus 2 or you can also write plus 2 minus 1 plus 1 0 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 plus 1 or minus 1 minus 2 plus 2 so this will be dxy dyz d z square this is and this one will be dx square y square and dxy yz zx dxy dyz dz square zero value means dz square this one will be dx square y square and d zx if your l value is 3 what is that sub shell f the values of m would be minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So f sub shell is having how many orbitals total? 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. And you don't have their names, sir. Okay. So mainly magnetic quantum number describes about the orientation of the electron or orientation of the electron in the orbital okay if magnetic quantum number value will be minus 2 l value 2 m value minus 2 and what orbital that is dxy like that and next uh, next is spin quantum number spin quantum number see electron revolve around the nucleus in a circular path that circular path is called as orbit okay this electron revolve around the nucleus in a circular path 
by revolving on its own axis electron anedi nucleus root to circular path lo tirugutundi adu ela tirugutundi ante dan own axis lo tirukkuntu nucleus root to kuda tirugutu untundi so the revolving around in its own axis is called as spinning electron revolve around the nucleus by spinning on its own axis that uh, electron spins on its own axis in clockwise direction and also in the anti clockwise direction the electron spins on its own axis in clockwise direction and in anti clockwise direction means this is a nucleus and this is the shell here the electron revolve around the nucleus in circular path by revolving on its own axis in clockwise direction or by its own axis in anti clockwise direction it revolve around the nucleus as well as it revolve on its own axis in clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction so the spin quantum number is used to describe the orientation of electron or spinning of electron on its own axis so it is discovered by discovered by who was discovered this lenbeck lenbeck and goudsmith ulen beck and goudsmith and next it is denoted with denoted with what it is denoted with yes yes have two values one is plus half another one is minus half plus means the spinning of electron is clockwise minus means the spinning of electron is the clock it is not like that it may be plus or minus we cannot uh, determine the spinning of electron is clockwise direction when s value is plus 1 spinning of electron anti clockwise direction lo untadi s value minus 1 unte ani we cannot determine okay so next one is next point is the total spin the total spin of the electron is equals to n by 2 n is number of unpaired electrons n is number of unpaired electrons and next one is spin multiplicity spin multiplicity spin multiplicity is equals to 2s plus 1 spin multiplicity is equals to 2s plus 1 s is total spin total spin will be getting n by 2 n is number of unpaired electrons okay next fifth point of this one is spin angular momentum spin angular momentum spin angular momentum of the electron is equals to under root s into s plus 1 spin angular momentum is is equals to under root s into s plus 1 and last one is magnetic moment of electron magnetic moment of electron is equals to under root n into n plus 2 bohr magnetons here n is number of unpaired electrons n is number of unpaired electrons magnetic moment is more means what it is more magnetic in nature magnetic moment is less means it is less magnetic in nature okay so now let us do some questions based on this quantum numbers what are the maximum number of orbitals possible for n is equals to 4 l is equals to 3 maximum number of orbitals maximum number of orbitals maximum number of orbitals if n value is given how can you write it will be maximum number of uh, what is that orbitals maximum number of orbitals is equals to n square maximum number of orbitals is equals to n square your n value is how much here 4 4 means it is 4 square 4 square means maximum number of orbitals are 16 because 16 means how we will be writing this one s yes orbital p orbital d orbital f orbital f orbital is having 7 d orbital is having 5 d 
this one is having three this one is having one total how many 16 orbitals maximum number of orbitals can be calculated about n square okay and uh, next question is what maximum number of orbitals if n value is 4 and the principal quantum number value 4 a number number of orbitals n unte andlo 16 unte mottam subshells n unte 4 unte s subshell p subshell d subshell f subshell s subshell 1 p subshell 3 d subshell 5 orbitals f subshell 7 orbitals all together is 16 and this is the first question and c so next second question second question l is equals to 3 for l is equals to 3 maximum number of orbitals how many maximum number of orbitals is equals to formula is what 2l plus 1 that is equals to 2 into l value 3 given 1 total 7 right l value 3 and a what orbital that is f orbital f orbital low n f subshell low n orbitals untai 7 orbitals untai. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like so next question Describe shells and subshells for given values of n and l. You have given values of n and l. You have to write shell and subshell. So n value 4 means shell is what? Fourth shell. n value 4 means it is what shell? Fourth shell. n value 4 means fourth shell. n value 4 means fourth shell. Subshell. L value 2 means it is L value 2 means D. See n value, one minute. L values is equals to 0, comma, 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, S, comma, P, comma, D, comma, F, like that. So now, n value 4, 4, L value 2 means D orbital, that is. And n value 1, 1. And L value 0 means S orbital, 1S this is. And N value 2, 2. And L value 1, 1 means P, 2P. And N value 3, 3. S value, L value 0 means what orbital, what, what subshell that is? S subshell, 3S. N value 3, 3. L value 2 means, 2 means that is what subshell? D subshell, 3D. N value 1. L value 2, 1D. 1D possible either the cause. Because always <coughs> your L value should be less than N value. But here L value is greater than N value. Because N L values are 0 to N minus 1. 0 to N minus 1. N karna kodi takwane This will not actually happen. You will be getting one question like this also. Which of the following set of quantum numbers are not possible? This type of quantum number is not possible. If your n value is 1 and l value cannot be 2. n value cannot be 2. And next, n value 2, l value 2. n value 2 on a second shell. And uh, l value could a 2 on a 2d. 2d possible? Either the card. Same one. Same one. The l value should be 1 less than n. L value should be always less than N value. Okay. Next question we will see. Incorrect set of quantum numbers. Incorrect set of quantum numbers. See N value will be what? 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. L value will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. 0 means yes, B, D and F m value will be equals to minus l to plus l yes maybe plus of and minus of see carefully now n value 4 right n value 4 on approve l value should be what <coughs> l value 0 on the together n value 4 on the l value 0 on the next m value m value minus l to plus l M value would have 0 on the S value plus of I know minus of it. This is a correct set of quantum numbers. And uh, 
n value 3 undi l value 1 undi l is less than n ikkada paina kuda l is less than n okay this is also correct m value minus 1 to plus 1 ante plus 1 undi correct value di and it is minus of right you may have minus of spin quantum number n value 2 l value 0 n value 2 l value 0 this is also l is less than n it is possible L value 0 means minus 0 to plus 0 M value. This is also possible. Okay. And S value will be plus of or minus of any one you can take. No problem. So that's why this is also possible. This is also possible. And see this one. 3 N value. L value 1. L is less than N. This is possible. But M value will be minus L to plus L. Minus L to plus L and minus 1, 0, plus 1 matra mein unda. Minus 2. This is not possible. So this set of quantum number is not possible. This set of quantum number is not possible. So option D is the correct one. Last option. And next question. What is the spin multiplicity and total spin of atoms having the following number of unpaid electrons? They have not given number of unpaid electrons. C and Number of unpaid electrons I am writing here. Number of unpaid electrons is equal to 2 I am writing here. Question number 1 low. Question number 2 low. Number of unpaid electrons I am writing 3. N is not principal quantum number. It is number of unpaid electrons. N is not principal quantum number here. Number of N is number of unpaid electrons. <coughs> so now spin multiplicity. Spin multiplicity formula in the spin multiplicity. We are solving question number 1. 2s plus 1. Spin multiplicity is 2s plus 1. Yes what? Yes is total spin. Yes is total spin. So total spin is equals to n by 2. n is number of unpaired electrons. Number of unpaired electrons. So number of unpaired electrons are how many? 2 here. S is equals to 2 by 2 is equals to 1. Now spin multiplicity the gonna apply and S plus low. 2 into 1 plus 1 is equals to 3. Spin multiplicity is how much? 3. Spin multiplicity is 3. And here you check the spin multiplicity. Spin multiplicity same formula. Spin multiplicity. What is the formula of it? Spin multiplicity is equals to 2s plus 1. S is total spin. How you will be getting S? S is number of unpaired electrons by 2. Is equals to number of unpaired electrons are how many? 3. 3 by 2 is equals to 1.5. So the spin multiplicity 2s plus 1 low. 2 into 1.5 plus 1. 2 into 1.5 is 3. 3 plus 1 is equals to 4. Okay. Total spin n by 2 and spin multiplicity 2s plus 1. That is 4 is the spin multiplicity. Okay. This is how we will calculate the spin multiplicity and total spin. Next question. Find the orbital angular momentum of the following subshells. First one see orbital angular momentum formula. Orbital angular momentum orbital angular momentum orbital angular momentum is equals to under root l into l plus 1 into h by 2 pi so now we are calculating orbital angular momentum for first question 3s yes yes orbital gravity l value entakra 0 3 s. 3 is the n value. We don't have any uh, requirement of n value now. We are only concerned with s l value. L value for s orbital is 0. So orbital angular momentum under root l value is 0. 0 into 0 plus 1 into h by 2 pi. So 0 into h by 2 pi it will be we will be getting 1 into h by 2 pi under root 1 into h by 2 pi is h by 2 pi. 
okay next second one is 5f orbital 5f orbital means l, l value will be how much see i will write l values here l value is 0 1 2 3 l value 0 means what is this s orbital 1 means p orbitals 2 means d orbital 3 means f orbital so l value is 5f f key 3 l value 3 is equals to under root 3 into 3 plus 1 3 plus 1 is 4 into h by 2 pi 4 into 3 12 that is equals to under root 12 h by 2 pi spin angular momentum orbital angular moment is, is 12 h by 2 pi and third question c l value 3d 3d means d orbital d orbital l value 2 l value is 2 is equals to under root 2 into 2 plus 1 into h by 2 pi 2 plus 1 3 3 into 2 6 under root 6 into h by 2 pi and fourth question fourth question c 4 p p p means l value is 1 is equals to l value is equals to 1 so under root 1 into 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 into 1 is 2 under root uh, h by 2 pi here under root 2 into h by 2 pi so this is how we will calculate orbital angular momentum of the different orbitals okay and the next one is orbital angular momentum of an electron in a subshell is root 5 h by pi see this is root 5 h by pi then find uh, l value find a uh, l value orbital angular momentum formula is what orbital angular momentum under root uh, l into l plus 1 into h by 2 pi then value into chindi valaki 5 h by pi under root root 5 h by pi h orbital angular momentum of an electron under root l into l plus 1 h by 2 pi orbital angular momentum of electron this is value is how much he got five, under root 5 h by pi so what we will be getting is h h pi pi you will get cancelled so that you will be getting under root l into l plus 1 into 1 by 2 is equals to under root 5 so under root uh, l into l plus 1 is equals to 2 into root 5 squaring on both sides and one more important thing hmm. squaring on both sides what will happen square it will be get cancelled this square means here you will write square here you will write square so 5 into 4 4 into 5 is equals to under root uh, l into l plus 1 sorry not root root is equals to l into l plus 1 okay is equals to 20 l into l plus 1 is equals to 20 L into L plus 1 is equals to 20. When this will be possible? When your L value is 4. L value 1 means you substitute here. L value 4 substitute just to make 4 into 4 plus 1 is equals to 28. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 into 4 is equals to 20. If your L value is 4, this will be possible. So find the L value. How can you find out the L value? L value is equals to 4. Right? Next, we will be discussing the next topic that is shapes of orbitals. Shapes of orbital, S orbital, P orbital, D orbital and F orbital. First of all, we will be starting with the shape of S orbital. So, shape of S orbital, shape of S orbital. S orbital is spherically shaped. The shape is spherical shape. First one is spherical shape it is having spherical shape and it is non-directional 
it is non directional it means the electrons are distributed throughout the s orbital the electrons are present throughout the s orbital it is non directional in shape okay this is about the s orbital and next coming to the shape of the p orbital p orbitals are in what shape they are present in the dumbbell shape so p orbitals are in dumbbell shape dumbbell shape means what it will be like this this p orbitals are three types px orbital py orbital and pz orbital px orbital means the orbital orients along what axis x axis like this py orbital means the orbital orient along y axis pz orbital means the orbital orient along the z axis okay it means the electron density is present on the x axis px orbital means the electron density is present on the x axis py orbital means the electron density is present on the y axis like this and pz orbital means the electron density present on the what axis z axis pz orbital like this okay and next uh, d orbitals so d orbitals are having double dumbbell shape double dumbbell shape they are what in shape uh, double dumbbell shape it will be something like this this is one dumbbell this is another dumbbell and these d orbitals are classified into two sets one is orbitals orient orbitals orient in between the axis that is dxy dyz dzx dxy dyz dzx and second one is orbitals orient on the axis orbitals orient on the axis second one is orbitals orient on the axis they are dx square y square and dz square orbitals orient in between axis means dxy they present in between the x axis and the y axis they present in between the x axis this is x axis this is y axis they are present in between x and y dxy means they are present in between x and y this is x axis this is y axis they present in between x and in between y dxy dxy and dyz they are present in between y orbital and uh, z orbital they are present in between y orbital and uh, z orbital and dzx dzx means they are present in between z orbital and uh, x orbital like this here you have shown here and uh, dx square y square dx square y square means they are present on the x axis and they are present on the y axis they are present on the x axis and on the y axis dx square y square means they are present on the x axis and on the y axis dz square means they are present on the z axis like this they are present on the z axis okay and uh, next coming to the f orbitals f orbitals are having four fold dumbbell shape which is not there in your syllabus and now the next topic is node this is very very important topic from where you will get questions from this topic node node means what what do you mean by the node node is the three dimensional region three dimensional region where the probability of finding electron is zero where the probability where the probability of finding where the probability of finding electron is 
zero. Where the probability of finding electron is zero. Means this is a three-dimensional region around the nucleus. It is a three-dimensional region around the nucleus where you don't find the electron. That kind of place is called as what place that is? Node. These nodes are two types. Nodes are two types. One is spherical node or radial node. Spherical node or radial node. Second one is angular node. Spherical node or radial node. Second one is angular node. One is spherical node or it is also called as radial node. And uh, other one is uh, angular node. Second one is angular node. So what do you mean by the radial node or spherical node? It is also a three dimensional space or region in an orbital where the probability of finding the electron is zero. And uh, for example, if you have taken S orbital, S orbital is present around the nucleus. So the probability of finding electron is very maximum near to the close, near to the nucleus. As we are going far away from the nucleus, the probability of finding electron is very less. See up to, see this is a nucleus, here you will be having more density of electron. It means here you can find the electron very high density. And a, you can have nucleus, the electron density, electron available here density, as we are going away from the nucleus here, probability of finding electron is less means sir here in this region you will be having probability of finding electron from 90 to 95 percent then tarvata e region lo this region where you don't find the electron this region where you don't find the electron is called as now node this is node this is node but this region where you can find the electron is called as what this region where you are finding electron is orbital orbital is the region where the probability of finding electron is maximum so near to the nucleus the probability of finding electron is maximum that's why that is called as orbital and as you are going away from the nucleus the probability of finding electron is decreasing that is called as node where you will be having probability of finding electron is zero okay so how can you calculate number of uh, radial or spherical nodes? Number of radial or spherical nodes is equals to n minus l minus 1. This is a very important formula. Number of radial nodes or spherical nodes is equals to n minus l minus 1. Next coming to the planar or angular nodes. Planar nodes are angular nodes. Nodes are two types. Ang uh, spherical nodes are radial nodes. Planar nodes are angular nodes. So planar nodes are also called as angular nodes. They are the planes cutting through the nucleus on which uh, the probability of finding electron is zero again. For example, you are taking Px orbital. You are having a plane which is passing through the y axis and z axis. Okay. Y axis and z axis where you will be having planes Py pz planes py pz planes x axis me the electron on them so x axis p, p x x p x orbital means the orbital is present on the x axis but where you will be having a probability of find, finding no electron from water z axis nunchigani y axis nunchigani bothe niku electron finding ability zero untam danne emantam nodal planes untam for px and so one for one more formula angular node formula is equals to find out angular nodes angular nodes is equals to angular nodes is equals to l so p orbital gavati l value enta 1 l value 1 means angular nodes are how many 1 and uh, pz orbital pz orbital angular node is 1 xy plane this is yz plane py orbital lo xz plane untadi and px py and pz pz lo em untadi x y plane px orbital lo yz plane py orbital lo 
xz plane pz orbital lo xy plane these are what nodal planes x lo yz y lo zx z lo xy these are what nodal planes nodal planes uh, what nodal planes these are angular nodal planes or planar nodal planes calculation of angular nodal planes or planar nodal planes is equals l is equals to 1 total nodes total nodes is equals to spherical nodes plus angular nodes spherical nodes n minus l minus 1 plus angular nodes l l l gets cancelled total nodes is equals to n minus 1 total nodes is equals to n minus 1 this is how we will calculate the total number of nodes total nodes for example if somebody ask you to calculate number of spherical nodes number one number two angular nodes number three total nodes for question number a 2s orbital question number b 3p orbital question number c c is 4d orbital so for 2s orbital uh, angular nodes angular nodes formula is what angular nodes is equals to first one is spherical nodes kada spherical nodes formula is what spherical nodes spherical nodes is equals to n minus l minus 1 n value is 2 s va l value for s orbital is 0 minus 1 is equals to 1 for 2s orbital nodes are spherical nodes are how many one only it means this is the nucleus this is the s orbital 1s orbital this is the 2s orbital so between 1s and 2s this is the spherical region where you don't find the electron this region and uh, spherical nodes throughout the angular nodes angular nodes any angular nodes is equals to l l value is how much zero there is no angular nodes total nodes is 1 plus 0 is 1 total nodes in nikra 1 plus 0 is 1 sorry 1 plus 0 is 1 total nodes 1 next uh, spherical nodes is equals to n minus l minus 1 n is 3 minus 1 minus 1 is 1 angular nodes angular nodes is equals to l 3p means angular node l value 1 so total nodes is equals to what spherical nodes 1 angular nodes 1 total nodes is equals to 2 next 4d orbital spherical nodes is equals to n minus l minus 1 that is 4 4 minus l value is 2 minus 1 4 minus 3 is equals to 1 spherical node is 1 and angular node angular node is equals to l l is equals to what d value d key l value 2 so total nodes is equals to this plus this that is 1 plus 2 is equals to 3 this is total number of nodes okay this is how we will calculate the angular nodes and spherical nodes and total nodes next uh, next topic is uh, electronic configuration this is the last topic of this chapter electronic configuration so what do you mean by electronic configuration electronic configuration and a electrons uh, distribution in shells and subshells and uh, in orbitals is called as electronic configuration electronic configuration means distribution of electrons in shells subshells and in orbitals is called as electronic configuration it is distribution of electrons distribution of electrons distribution of electrons in where in shells comma subshells 
comma orbitals ante electron ni first shell lo veyala second shell lo veyala third shell lo veyala second shell lo veste s lo veyala p lo veyala p lo veste px lo veyalana py lo veyala pz orbital px orbital lo veyala py orbital lo veyala pz orbital lo veyala that is what is actually described by electronic con electronic configuration is distribution of electrons in various shells subshells and orbitals so we need to follow certain rules to write the electronic configuration one is abo principle huns rule and pauli's exclusion principle the very first one is abo principle according to abo principle electrons are filled filled in the orbitals in the orbitals electrons are filled in the orbitals in the increasing order of their in the increasing order in the increasing order of their energy level in the increasing order of their energy level energy increasing order of their energy whose energy orbitals in in the increasing order of their energy or in the increasing order of their n plus l value energy can be cal energy of orbital is calculated with what value n plus l value it means the first electron fills in the lower n plus l value orbital then the electron goes to the higher n plus l value orbital if n plus l value of two orbitals is same in that case how we can fill the electron means see for example you are having n value here l value here and n plus l value will write here if your n value is 1 l value is 0 n plus l value is 1 that is what orbital 1s orbital orbital is 1s right see carefully and n value is 2 l value is 0 n plus l value is 2 that is what orbital 2s orbital n value 2 l value 0 means s orbital if your n value is 3 l value is 0 that is what 3 3s if your n value is again 3 l value is 1 that is a 4 that is 3p okay ikkada inkoti miss aina manamu l n value 2 l value 1 ante total value em aitadi 3 3 ante enti 2s 3s 2s 2p 2s 2p okay so 2s is having l value 3 uh, 2p is having l value 3 and 3s is also having l value 3 see carefully 2s Uh, sorry not 2s 2p and 3s 2p lo n plus l value 2 l value is 1 total 3 3s lo n value is 3 l value 0 total 3 n plus l value is same then electron will fill first in which orbital whose n value is less n value is less for 2p so the electron first fills in the what orbital 2p orbital okay if n plus l values are same next point is if n plus l values are same if n plus l values are same electron first goes to that orbital electron first goes to that orbital whose n value is whose n value is less see i am writing here care clearly now once again n value l value n value l value and n plus l value and orbital if your n value is 1 l value 0 n plus l value is also 1 and that is 1s if your n value is 2 l value will be 0 l value will be 1 l value 0 means 2s i mean that is l value 0 means total n plus l value is how much 2 here n plus l value is 
so n value 2 l value 0 means that is what orbital 2s orbital n value 2 l value 1 means 2p orbital okay and see here n value 2 again next uh, n value 3 I am writing l value may be 0 or may be 1 or may be 2 0 to n minus 1 so this may be 3 plus 0 3 3 plus 1 4 3 plus 2 5 this may be 3s 3p 3d next 4, n value 4 means 0, 1, 2, 3. This will be 4, 5, 6, 7. It means 4s, 4p, 4d, 4f. See carefully now. n plus l value is very less for 1s. So energy order. Energy order. Energy order of various orbitals energy order of various orbitals energy order of various orbitals 1s is less than next 2 2s is less than see you will be having 2p and 3s both are having same energy 3 and 3 only both are having same energy 3 3 both are having uh, same energy 3 3 what is that 2p and 3s so electron will first go into what shell, what orbital now, whose n value is less, whose n value is less in these two things, n value is less for 2p orbital, n value is less for 2p, then it will go to 3s, then Tarvati Mundi, 4, n value is same for C, carefully now, n value is 4 for 3p, n value is 4 for 4s n value is 4 for 3p, n value is 4 for 3s, 4s. So, but the electron will go to what orbital now? 3s tarvate, then lo kelta di, 3p lo ke velta. In the kante, ikada n value enta 3. Ikada n value enta 4. n value takwa dent lai tunta do, andula kelta. Kaabati endu lo kelta di, 3s, 3p. Tarvata, e mosta di, 3d or 4p. 3d lo, see, 3d lo, and 4p low, n plus l value same on the malla. 3d low, 4p low, 5 and 5 on the 3d low, 5, 4p low, 5. Up to n plus l value same on the gavati, n value is not a kunta than the n value then to takundi, 3d low takundi, tarva then to takundi, 4s. Tarva then to takundi, 4s low takundi. So this is the energy order which you have to remember up to elements 30. 30 work is the energy order. If you want to write the electronic configuration of the higher elements, you can follow this one. And we will be having one diagram called as Moiler diagram which is used to write the energy order. We will be writing here 1s, 2s, 2p, 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s, 8s and 1s Tarvata. 2s, 2p, 3p, 4p, 5p, 6p, 7p, next 3d, 4d, 5d, 6d, 4f, 5f, it will rational. Rational, this will come like this. Malli ila pai kelli, 2s, balli ila pai kelli, 2p, 3s, malli ila pai kelli, 3p, 4s, malli ila pai kelli, 4s tarata 3d, 4p, 5s, Malli pai keli 4d 5p 6s Malli pai keli 4f 5d 6p 7s Malli pai keli elastin. This is the energy order diagram. The electrons will be filling in this manner. From this we can write what 1s is less than, 2s is less than, 2p is less than, 3s is less than, 3p is less than, 3 4s. 3p is less than 4s, huh? 1s, 2s, 2p, 6, 3s to 3p, 6, 4s to 3d, 10, right? 3d, 3d, 3p, 4s, 
4s is less than 3d 4s is less than 3d tarvata is less than 4p is less than c next 4p tarvata 5s 5s is less than next 4d is less than 5p is less than 6s like this the energy order so the electrons are first filled in 1s 1s fill in tarvata 2s 2s fill in tarvata 2p tarvata 3s tarvata 3p tarvata 4s tarvata 3d ila electrons anet vi lower energetic orbitals nunchi higher energetic orbitals loki fill ayi if n plus l value rendu same unte n value deentlo ayithe takku untado dantlo ki electron munduga velthu next huns rule huns rule means electron pairing in p d f orbitals cannot occur until each orbital of a given subshell contains one electron each also the singly occupied orbitals will have parallel spin it means see carefully electrons are paired once the degenerate orbitals electrons are paired once the degenerate orbitals are half filled the above statement can be written like this also electrons are paired once the degenerate orbitals are half filled so what do you mean by this degenerate orbital degenerate orbitals means orbitals of same energy orbitals of uh, same energy degenerate orbitals means orbitals of same energy orbitals of same energy and the orbitals of same n plus l value means for example s orbital is there s orbital s sub shell lo n orbitals untai okate untai kabatti ikkane pair aipothu s2 unte s1 unte electron will be filled like this s2 means like this for example you have p1 the electron will be filled like this if you have p2 the electrons will be not filled like this this is wrong ఫస్ట్ ఏం కావాలి హాఫ్ ఫిల్ కావాలి హాఫ్ ఫిల్ కావాలంటే ఏంది పి టూ ఉన్నప్పుడు వన్ టూ ఇంకా హాఫ్ ఫిల్ కాదు నెక్స్ట్ పి త్రీ ఉందనుకోండి హాఫ్ ఫిల్ వన్ టూ త్రీ హాఫ్ ఫిల్ ఓకే బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ లైక్ దిస్ వన్ టూ త్రీ దిస్ ఈస్ ద రాంగ్ ఓకే అండ్ పి ఫోర్ ఉంది నెక్స్ట్ పి ఫోర్ మీన్స్ వాట వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ రాసారు అనుకోండి ఏమైంది రాంగ్ అయితే ఏం చేయాలి ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ఆర్ ఫస్ట్ హాఫ్ ఫిల్డ్ వన్ టూ త్రీ హాఫ్ ఫిల్ అయినాక ఏం చేయాలి పెయిరింగ్ చేయాలి నెక్స్ట్ పి ఫైవ్ పి ఫైవ్ మీన్స్ ఫస్ట్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ యూ షుడ్ హాఫ్ ఫిల్ ఇట్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ రైట్ రైట్ దిస్ లైక్ దిస్ యూ హైట్ ఇఫ్ యూ కెన్ రైట్ దట్స్ ఇట్ రైట్ నెక్స్ట్ P6 సిక్స్ అంటే ఎస్టీస్ ఎట్లా రాసినా కానీ మనకి పి సిక్స్ అన్నీ సేమ్ వస్తుంది ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ డి ఫోర్ యూ హ్యావ్ డి ఫోర్ మీన్స్ హవ్ యూ విల్ రైట్ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ ఫైవ్ ఆర్బిటల్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఇఫ్ యూ కెన్ రైట్ లైక్ దిస్ దిస్ ఈస్ రాంగ్ డి ఫోర్ మీన్స్ యూ విల్ షుడ్ రైట్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద కరెక్ట్ వన్ అండ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ యూ హ్యావ్ డి సెవెన్ డి సెవెన్ if you can write like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is wrong d7 how can you write 1 2 3 4 5 half fill 6 and 7 this is right so electrons are paired once the degenerate orbitals are half filled this also you should keep in mind while writing the electronic configuration and the last one is pauli's exclusion principle according to pauli's exclusion principle an orbital can have maximum two electrons these must have opposite spin orbital oka orbital lo maximum n electrons untavi two electrons untai p sub shell lo each how many orbitals are there three orbital each orbital contain maximum how many electrons two electrons only two electrons kanna ekku undan chance ledhu and these two electrons are having opposite spin one is having plus half another one is having minus half two electrons lo oka daniki plus half undali oka daniki minus half okadi clockwise direction lo rotate avute 
స్పిన్నింగ్ అవుతే ఇంకోటి యాంటీ క్లాక్ వైజ్ డైరెక్షన్లో స్పిన్నింగ్ కావాలి అప్పుడే ఎలక్ట్రాన్ అండ్ యాటమ్ విల్ బికమ్ స్టేబుల్ ఓకే సో దిస్ స్టేట్మెంట్ కెన్ ఆల్సో బీ రిటర్న్ ఇన్ అనదర్ మేనర్ నో టూ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ఇన్ అన్ ఆర్బిటాల్ నో టూ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ఇన్ అన్ ఆర్బిటాల్ will not have all four quantum numbers same will not have all four quantum numbers same will not have all four quantum numbers same they at least differ in spin quantum number if they have three quantum numbers same they will be having a different quantum number that is spin quantum number they have mm, four quantum numbers same they at least differ in spin quantum number they at least differ in spin quantum number they at least differ in spin quantum number so this is a so now we'll write electronic configurations of some elements so energy order you should remember like this 1s 2s 2s 2p 3s 3p 4s 4s 3d remember like this but uh, hydrogen is atomic number is 1 that's why we'll write only 1s 1 so we'll be removing all this and again while you are writing electronic configuration write all the order for each and every element so that you can uh, remember the sequence next 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 4s 3d right but uh, atomic number of helium is 2 so two electrons are present s orbital can accommodate maximum one electron two electron p orbital can accommodate six electrons d orbital can accommodate 10 electrons and f orbital can accommodate 14 electrons yes 2 p 6 d 10 f orbital can accommodate maximum 14 electrons so we will be removing this thing next here this one will be 1s2 2s1 1s2 2s2 four electrons over next 1s2 tarvata electrons 2 electrons 2s2 4 i pe next fifth electron 1s2 2s2 tarvata em ostadi 2p ostadi 2p1 and six carbon 1s2 2s2 4 i pe next 2p2 lo 2 six electrons next 1s2 2s2 2p2 the six 2p em aitadi ippudu 3 aitadi next 1s2 2s2 2p 3 tarvata 4 next 1s2 2s2 2p5 next 1s2 2s2 2p6 so we can write helium 2s2 2p1 this is because 1s2 is heliums 1s2 is helium 1s2 is helium and next what is there 2s1 is there next 1s2 is helium next after 2s2 is there helium 2s2 here 1s2 is helium next what is there 2s2 2p1 helium 2s2 2p1 here 1s2 is helium next what is there 2s2 2p2 like that you can write up to helium 2s2 2p6 here helium 2s2 2p6 here next sodium sodium means 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3s2 or 3s1 only 2p6 3s1 so 1s2 2s2 2p6 a 10 electrons and 3s1 11th electron sodium atomic number is 11 so 1s2 2s2 2p6 10 kabatti it is the configuration of helium not neon sorry neon only sorry neon configuration neon configuration 3s1 and next this one will be 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 1s2 2s2 2p6 is neon neon 3s2 and this one will be same 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 next what will come 3p1 will come 
Once s orbital is completely filled, next one is 3p. So 1s to 2s to near, 1s to 2s to 2p6 is near answer. And next is 3s to 3p1, next 3s to 3p2, 3s to 3p4, like that you will be getting, okay. Exceptional configurations. Exceptional configuration of chromium. See chromium, mm, organ for this one. Chromium atomic number is 24. If you can write its electronic configuration, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, after that you will get 4s2, and total how many are there? 20 electrons are completed. So 3d4 we will write generally. But this is wrong. Why means? If you can write 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, 3d5. This is correct. If you can write like this, one electron from s orbital will go to the d orbital. So that uh, total you will be getting half filled configuration here. See d orbital, d subshell is having 5 orbitals, out of which we will be having 5 have orbitals are having each one electron, so half filled. So, and number of exchanges will also increase. This electron will go here, this electron will go here, this electron will go here, and this electron will go here. This four exchanges by first electron, second electron can exchange three, third electron can exchange two, fourth electron can exchange one. Total, how many exchanges are possible? Ten exchanges. As number of exchanges are more, number of exchanges are more, exchange energy is more. If exchange energy, electron exchange energy is more, then it is having more stability. So this configuration is having more stability. 3D4 in the One, two, three, four. Exchanges are stuck. Ante 1, 2, 3. Next one, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 3 plus 2, 5, next 6. So if you can write this configuration, you will be only having 6 exchanges. Only unpaired electrons can exchange. Paired electrons exchange gao. If exchange gao ikra. Ikra d orbital or d5 radam valla, you can get 10 exchanges. More number of exchanges, more is the stability. Otherwise half filled configuration. So this configuration is explained by two reasons. Half filled configuration. Half filled configuration is more stable configuration and more exchange energy. And more uh, exchange energy. Okay. Chromium. Similarly, manganese is also there. We can also not manganese, copper. Copper zinc. Copper also we can write like that. Copper means. Uh, uh, 29, we can write its configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d9, but this is wrong. We will be writing like this, copper is equals to 30, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, we will write it as 4s1, 3d10. We write it as 4s1, 3d10. This d10 is a completely filled configuration. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Due to completely filled d configuration, copper in this electronic configuration is more stable. That's why we are writing copper's configuration is this one. Okay. And electronic configuration of ions. Ions means what? A neutral molecule means uh, it is not lost electron or not gained electron. But ion means, ions are two types, cations. Cations means these are particles which lost electrons. For example, sodium is there. Sodium atomic number is 11 and sodium plus means uh, its atomic number is 11, but it is having how many electrons? 10 electrons. Sodium is having 11 electrons. For example, magnesium is there. 
magnesium atomic number 11, uh, 12, number of electrons present in it is 12 only. If you can write Mg plus 2, it lost 2 electrons so that it will become 10 electrons of it. Okay. So while writing electronic configuration of these things, we'll write the uh, same 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 only because it is having 10 electrons. Here also we'll write 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 only. Okay, this is cations, and next anions. Anions means what? It is the particle which gained electrons. Particle which gained electrons. Particle which gained electron means, for example, fluorine. Fluorine atomic number is nine. Nine electrons are present. F minus. F minus means how many electrons are present? Ten. F minus means one electron is gained by it. Next, for example, oxygen. Oxygen atomic number is eight. Eight electrons are present. O minus two. O minus two means two electrons are gained. Again, ten electrons are present. And we will write its electronic configuration as it is one s two, two s two, two p six. And this one is also same one s two, two s two, two p six one. So this is how we will write the electronic configuration of ions. So with this, we have finished the atomic structure chapter. Next, we are going to start periodic table in the next uh, class. So uh, I have given DPP for this one. Practice the DPP, and thank you for the today. And in the next class, we are going to meet with the chapter periodic table. Thank you all.